Shout out to Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Shout out to me putting the air conditioner on because when you drink Natty Daddy, it's you want it to be ice cold, so I turned the air conditioner on just because I want it to be extra chilled here. And yeah, I am going to be moving um, in with my mom um, the 15th of this month, so the middle of the month. So in the meantime, I'm still here. Um, um, okay, so let's get on with this. Shout out to Bruise Forty. Man, this stuff is eight percent alcohol. Okay, I wanted to talk about. Well, first I want to say I got this in the mail today. I love this catalog. They give they get, um, um, sell the top quality meat that your money can buy. And they even have seafood and other things in here. I've never had beef wellington. I want to try that. Uh, um, really, A lot of times you guys are used to me complaining and stuff, especially about my female problem. Um, speaking of female problems, I, well, I've been burnt. It's been a blunder, basically, my whole life with females. And I've been burnt, burnt, you know, by females, uh, be it um, use me for my money and you name it, uh, all my life. Like, well, not all my life, but every time I did have an encounter, which was nil to none, but the point being is, the real reason I get down on myself and get all depressed and fed up and irritated and, and um, cause um, is the reason is is a lot of it's um, fragrance aroma based because I a lot of times I, I wonder well if she looks extraordinarily exceptionally pretty or attractive I, I, I wonder to myself What's her breath smell like? What's her, her beautiful butt smell like? Because they can't be as bad as a guy's, let's face it. I mean, she's gorgeous, come on. She, I mean, I just get depressed. I want to take basically take in her beauty and inhale. I want to breathe her breath and kiss and make out stuff I've never done in my life. I just want her essence of her beauty just to enter into my body. That's what really why I get down on myself all the time because I've never experienced that kind of pleasure in my life. And there are other kinky things I like to try, like being trampled or hot oh, chicks walking on me would turn me on. But I mean, I'm not going to go into all that, you know. It's not really the uh, um, object of this video. And you can't blame me. I've been single all my life. I've never been married, never even really had a relationship in my life. I don't even know what a relationship is like. I mean, for heaven's sake, I'm for crying out loud, I'm, I'm not that young. I'm not young like I used to be. And, Sometimes people leave comments on my channel like, time's running out, I need to do something about it. Well, every time that I do try, I fail. I mean, you know, it's not like I go out every day. I certainly don't go out every day and try to pick up chicks. It's not what I, I don't do that. I don't, I'm too scared to approach them in public. I, I'm too nervous, too shy, maybe too, maybe insecure to a point. Um, and... It just seems to me like a lot of females nowadays like, um, I don't know if it's just me, but they like black dudes. I don't know why. I just don't. I mean, you know, um, I'm not racist or anything, but it just seems like like that's, that's it's, it's that way. They, they mostly go for the black dudes, especially in my neck of the woods, and I'm sure maybe where you live too, you can relate to that. I have my theories, um, but I don't know. Um, you know, like 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 Black Metal Troy said, you just I just have to come to terms with the way it is, and the chances of us meeting a pretty female throw it out the window because it's not going to happen. So you just gotta accept it the way it is. Cheers.
So from now on, I'm not going to gripe, complain about being deprived and never having a female from here on out. I'm going to talk about other things, so just for the record. Um, and I did like Graham Stats' um, tribute. I appreciated it very much. I was flattered, honored. It was really awesome that they put forth that effort, energy to do that, make it happen on that tribute. That was awesome. Especially, it turned me on, the chick sticking her tongue out at me. <laughs> that was a bonus. That was kind of like a treat. <sighs> so, just PM me um, if you want to um, know more about my... Because there's a lot of you that um, seem to be interested in my fetishes. So, and I know this stuff should be kept private. So, inbox me privately um, or mail, message me um, in particular. If there's something particular you are curious about or something of that nature. Um, all I know is I need to hurry up with this. <laughs> Man, this Natty Daddy. It's not my favorite beer, but I mean, it's... I'm an Anheuser fan. Coors Original is my favorite beer. Uh, gets you lit up, though. Gets you uh, stoned. Well, not stoned, but just lit up, you know. Music would be nice. Maybe some Fritos or some, uh, you know drinking um you know it it gives you the munchies at least it gives me the munchies you know um i've always been a night drinker in the evening and i do believe in ghosts and shit you know i've, I've seen orbs in my videos i've seen things floating around that i can't explain so i do believe in that and you know just because you don't you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist and as for yellow groove i think he's doing okay you know i'm just be. I'm not, you know, I'm a little worried about him, but I'm, I think he's going to be all right, though. I mean, I hope, you know what I mean? I pray. I've tried calling an old answer. He just don't pick the phone up, so I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> but I'm just guessing he's okay, though. I hope so, you know. I mean, he's a good dude. Um, so many of my fans, I don't leave comments. I don't watch your videos. Some of you guys might think I'm selfish or I'm the only... You, but, 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 I don't have access. Someone made a comment to watch all in the family uh, on YouTube. I've done that before, but I don't have internet where I live. Now when I, now when I move in with my mom, I have access to the internet. And as for jobs and money goes, I find out Wednesday if they're going to hire me. Um, so I just hate the hours. I hate the fact that I have to work five in the morning, though. Even though I get off early in the afternoon, but because I had to do that gig, uh, I had to do that in 2006, and it, I got used to it. I was, uh, you know, I was in better health, better shape back then. But hell, fuck, that was 11 years ago. But I was making 500 a week. I missed the making that money. That motivated me. Money motivates me. You know, I like to have, I like to upgrade. I, I don't, I like to be clean, neat, organized. I don't like to be a slump and a, you know. A dirty old man. I'm, that's not what I like. I like to be neat, organized, and tidy. That's I've always been that way. Organized. But when you're not making money, it's hard to keep up with your health. And when you're when you're when you're on food stamps, it's tough to take take care of yourself. I have bare, I'm having trouble just brushing my teeth every day, making it a habit of dental. I'm neglectful more now. It seems like. <sighs> Yeah, I like YouTube. It's a, it's a way for me to vent my frustrations and be social because outside of YouTube, I don't really have a social life. I, I basically use YouTube for my social life, um, quite honestly. Um, all my other goofy um, videos were just for show. It wasn't really serious, you know. The ones where I wore a hat or disguised my voice, it was just for show. But, um, you know... That's why I drink my fetish beer, because it, it's a way for me to vent my sexual frustrations. Oh, I told you guys I'm not going to talk about my fetishes, so I'll shut up about that. It is kind of personal. I mean, it's not the whole world shouldn't even really know it. But. So that is my fault. Well, my fault sometimes that I'm too upfront about things and too honest, overly honest. People use it against me. I'm not naming names, but I think you know who you are. You know what? I, I am going to say, though, 
I do, I am great at throwing darts, but besides that, I am terrific at making. I was tell, telling you, my fans, I um, was going to sell beef jerky at one point, and I am going to wear, whoever asked me to wear that shredded white t-shirt, look forward to it, I am, and also the secret key, look forward to that in the future. What I was leading to was, uh, I make the best, and maybe I will sell beef jerky, but I make the best Italian ciabatta. What I call it like a godfather salami sandwich. All it basically is is um, there ain't nothing to it. Uh, you know, if you got oregano or basil, I even fucking parsley. I just put oregano on there. A hit, just a smick, a smidgen of oregano. Take you a slab of salami, good hard whole Italian salami. What you do, you take a provolone cheese. What you do, slice you an onion or a tomato maybe, okay? Put it in like a slow uh, heat heat thing. That, well, when I, I used to make them for kids at a university years ago, and they used to sell like hot cake. And these things, I can, oh, I'm, I'm a killer at making them up. What you do, see, the trick is to toast whatever bread you use. I like ciabatta. <clears throat> Focaccia is, you know, a different thing, story. What I do, um, I toast my bun, okay, to make it crunchy. I even sometimes put butter on salami and tomato, because <clears throat> even my grandma's Italian, my mom's Italian, so I know these things. Now, like today, I made um, sausage. Um, I heated to the trick to make it taste good. I, I toasted my bun on the pan. My, it was sort of like a hoagie. Um, oh, it was fucking, it was fucking dynamite. Slappy happy. But it's easy. It ain't doesn't require uh, rocket science, brain work. Keep the ingredients simple. If you like heat, fuck, I just put a little crushed red pepper in that son of a gun. Whatever, you know, all it is is really it's just salami, provolone cheese, and ciabatta bread or Italian bread. You just toast it, you get it melted. Voila. Or you put tomato on there. I even put tomato in the oven, fuck it. Some people, I don't even spread no mayo on there. I don't. I don't monkey with that, you know, I just eat it straight up, just straight plain, like, it's just so fucking good. And, you know, you could even put mushrooms, I'm a, you know, I, I don't eat healthy, I used to try to be healthy as fucking possible, but as I got older, I kind of lost the desire to keep up with my health. As you can see, I, I probably don't look healthy, but, fuck. Swill, swill, I'm gonna fucking kill this. I want to say one last thing. Email the rules. I haven't talked to him like in two months. Um, your videos are too long. I mean, I know this video is long, but whatever, dude. I tried to watch your last video you did. It was like 19 minutes. I'm like, I don't like those long videos personally, but teach his own. Thanks for watching. Cheers. All the best to you guys.